Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. We've just visited the Imperial City and talked to... Uh, what was her name? Advisor? Overseer? Something? Well, anyway, she gave us the quest to try to uh, find out what happened to the people in the Dead Quarter that were supposed to investigate something. So we have that quest, but we still haven't explored most of the Imperial City. So I'm actually gonna... Oh, oh, actually, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Carrie's still with me. She's holding a gun, and that is not good. I don't want people to start shooting us. Alright, let's sit back in and just see if I can talk to anybody here. I don't know if they would allow me in these doors. Okay, yeah, we can go in these places. Yes, what do you want? I assume you're here for a good reason. My people don't let foreigners into the city just for fun. I recommend you take care of your business as soon as possible and leave the city peaceably. <laughs> I love this option. What the fuck is your point? I don't like the way you're talking to me. Is there something you dislike about me? Why are you so rude? As a foreigner, you represent a threat to our dwellers, as well as to yourself, as you will bear the consequences if you cause as you will bear the consequences if you cause trouble. My name is Wyatt Parson, I'm, and I'm the commanding officer of the Imperial Army. Remember that. If you make any trouble, it will be me who will promptly deal with you. Why do you immediately assume I'm going to cause trouble? I've had plenty of experience with you foreigners. The lifestyle of people outside the city isn't always compatible with our own. Outside, order means little, and few are willing to obey rules. Since I'm responsible for the safety of the dwellers, I must always expect the worst. I'll be glad if your visit will go without any trouble. If everyone in the Empire sees foreigners the same way, then I understand why the Imperial City is separated from the rest of Albuquerque. Emperor Mizrael has good reasons for separating our city from its uncivilized neighbors. It's not my, and certainly not your, place to judge the Emperor's decision. I must admit that it does make my job easier. The safety of the Empire and its dwellers can be secured much more efficiently this way. Wouldn't it be better to join forces with the rest of the city and fight against the external foe? The rebirth is not the only threat to our dwellers. I can hardly expect the people of the Wastes to adhere to civilized rules. It is clear to me that, even if they try, they will have problems following them. They want to have our technology and resources without the responsibilities we have because of them. And I'm afraid the same can be said of the mutant hunters. Our agreement with them is strictly defined, and I see no reason to change our relation into a closer alliance. Ah, uh, yes. Let's poke and prod a little bit more at this problem between the dwellers, the Imperial City, and the, the hunters. The hunters made many promises. I'm not sure if they keep Albuquerque peaceful enough. And they haven't advanced in dealing with a ghoul army threat. Is it mere incompetence, or real intent? He stops himself, as if he just now realized who he was talking to, and continues in a more decisive voice. The agreement has its purpose. I don't doubt that. And it certainly isn't my place to discuss it with a foreigner. Do I understand correctly that you're the Supreme Commander of the Imperial Army? No, the Supreme Commander of the Army is, of course, Iran. It has many other duties besides that. That's why I'm here, as main commanding officer. I make sure the army runs flawlessly and handle mundane army matters, and I answer directly to Iran. Hmm, empty room. I'm just gonna close this door here. Is there anything, perhaps, in here or in here? Can I science this? Ah. Still itching to use my science skill. You see a man in immaculate, perfectly maintained armor. You sound important. Greetings, I'm Colonel Zachary Browman, recruitment officer. 
Administrative Division of the Imperial Army. What can I do for you? Recruitment officer. Uh, don't you worry about that. Understandably, we only accept dwellers in the Imperial Army. All the more so as we recruit them already in early childhood. This way we have enough time to properly shape these young boys and girls. Hey, I don't want to badmouth anyone, but uh, you seem much more welcoming than most of the dwellers of the Empire. I believe that the best way to present our civilized society to strangers and outsiders is to show them how we're able to communicate with them. Out there, disputes and misunderstandings are dealt with by force, but not here. <laughs> yeah, we kill one another on sight. Here, let me show you. Uh, okay, so in other words, you think yourself superior to anyone else. It's a fact. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we should exterminate you all or even rule you by force. You people from the Wasteland can hardly do anything about your limited fate. And that is something no one can change. We were simply lucky that we grew up in a small oasis of the civilized world and the only thing we can do is to preserve it for the generations to come. That's strange. A third option appears when I mouse down. Interesting. I have no idea what this line means. But I'm just going to say it. So the die is cast and we just have to come to terms with it. How lucky you are for rolling boxcars. What the hell does that mean? Rolling boxcars? I don't know. Of course, it is laudable that you're trying to improve your life, but one life is not enough to get to the level of education, manners, and lots more of just an average dweller of the Empire. You will always be limited by your surrounding. But let's leave the topic. I may have crossed the line there. It was not my intention to make fun of you just because my origin in life is better than yours. Alright, see ya. Seemed like a nice person, but turned out to be a bit of a prick. The young woman turns to you. This is a private room at Advisor uh, Bildir. I'm sorry, but you should not be here. I might just be a stupid savage from the wastes, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say you're not Bildir either. A gentle smile appears on the woman's face. A stranger with a sense of humor? That is not a common sight. You're correct. I am his daughter. In fact, this room will be my own from now on. Father has passed away recently. I'm going through his personal stuff and postponing the task for long enough. Ah, oh, right. One of the... well, wasn't it one of the advisors that had recently died? Still searching for a replacement? I'm sorry for your loss. By the way, my name's Rena. Oh, I apologize for not introducing myself. My name is Lystra Harding Stilson. Which is of no significance to you. Uh, let us make it simpler. You can call me Lystra. I'd be glad to talk to someone. At least I will come to new thoughts. So your father's room will be yours now. This room is for one of the Emperor's advisors. It is a function I am to take up after my father, along with taking over the Imperial Hospital. You see, I'm his only descendant here, and of course a member of the Emperor's family. She grins. So I should address you as Your Imperial Majesty. Leicester puts on a mock smirk. Only if you add all the proprietary bows. <laughs> Wait, I was just joking. Don't even think about doing it. I've always considered preserving the ruling family as a rather strange practice. I've spent my entire life preparing to be in charge of the hospital. But to take it up along with the duties of the advisor at once just because my father did it? I admit, I hesitate. Your father managed to do both, right? I'm sure you'll manage, too. Yes, he was very devoted to his work. He worked until the end of his life, even when he became old and his health declined. The problem is, my brother was to become his successor in the position of an advisor, but he is not here. 
Nobody knows where he has gone. It is almost certain he would have declined to succeed our father, but at least he should have been told about father's death, if anything. I cannot simply take up all those responsibilities without trying to locate him. What happened to your brother? I wish I knew. He has left Albuquerque. His current whereabouts are unknown to me. How much have you traveled? I know it's a stupid thing to ask, but have you by any chance met a man from the Empire named Sindian? The Wasteland is a big place, but all kind of coincidences happen. Ah, that name doesn't ring any bells, I'm sorry. Well, it was worth a shot. I think you would have known if you had met him. Sindian is a man of principles and a fighter. He inherited his father's cunning. In short, a strong personality. I'm simply afraid it could have brought him more troubles. Why isn't Sindian in Albuquerque? That is a rather lengthy and complex story to tell. Are you sure you want to hear it? Stupid question, I guess. Why else would you have asked in the first place, right? My brother served in the Imperial Army. As every soldier, he considered it his duty to protect the Empire. But he felt our army was not doing enough in that respect. He saw the rebirth as too great a threat to use only passive defense against. He has tried to convince the Empire to actively join the fight against the ghouls, to strain its muscles in order to stop the rebirth completely. He failed. The main argument against it was that using the city's resources outside would make the Empire too vulnerable. This is the eternal belief held by most of the dwellers, as old as the Empire itself. What is your opinion about it? I think it's simply a fear of moving on. There are numerous good reasons to shy away from the surrounding world, and I definitely disagree with Sindian regarding joining the open fight, but we should tend to the world around us more. We should strive to make the world around us a better place instead of tending to our tiny enclosed piece of it. So what did your brother do once he failed to change the attitude of the Empire? He left the city. He joined those who embraced the open conflict with the Rebirth on a daily basis. He joined the Mutant Hunters. You aren't from around here, you cannot possibly conceive the significance of such an act. We have agreements of cooperation with the Hunters, at least within certain borders. In fact, Sindian broke no rules by doing so. But the dwellers of the city consider it treason. He tried to protect the Empire so fiercely that he became an enemy to his own people. Our father was the one who had the most difficulty accepting it. When Sindian shared his plans with him before his departure, they had an ugly argument. That was the last time they spoke. Father has refused to discuss him ever since. He always got mad whenever I started talking about my brother. Hmm. How did it go for Sindian with the hunters? Is he no longer with them? Sindian was not the first. In very rare occasions, the dweller of the city wants to join the hunters. They are immediately accepted by them. I believe their leaders hope they will gain access to our technology and resources. But my brother managed to alienate the hunters in just a few weeks. I'm not certain what happened exactly. I assume he must have done something they did not like. He was forced to leave Albuquerque in a hurry. I have no idea in... Uh, I have no idea in which direction he left. Yeah, it sounds like if uh, if Sindian's a person of honor, then I'm sure they would not fit in with the mutant hunters, because the mutant hunters are just bloodthirsty. Protecting your people is one thing, but the mutant hunters are just a bunch of fucking... I don't, I don't even know what to call them. You don't know much about his activities since he left the Empire. Where did you get the little info you have? I received a message from one of the immigrants stating that my brother is gone. That man who sent it wanted to meet and tell me more about what had happened. But it took several days for the message to reach me, and then it was too late. First, I could not find him. After a more thorough investigation, I found that the immigrant and his wife had been ill. They tried to get help in the hospital in the dead quarter, but they died there. And none of the hunters wanted to tell me anything about Sindian. When I mentioned his name, they acted very hostile. I mean, more than usually.
Tell me more about your brother. Sindian always chooses the greatest of challenges and forces them full of en faces them full of enthusiasm. He fights for what he believes in, and he will not stop until he succeeds. He is simply headstrong, just like his father was. They could argue for hours when there was something they did not agree on. It used to happen. The fact is, father was the one who made Cindy in the way he is. He enrolled him in the army at the lowest possible age. He continuously encouraged his ambition and tried to imprint on him devotion to the Empire. He was exactly the same towards me, with the exception of the army, but there is no doubt he put more of his effort into Sindian. Can I ask you about your mother? Is she still alive? No, she's not. She died soon after I was born. Postpartum complications of such nature, even my father was unable to deal with them. Okay. Why didn't you set out to look for your brother? I know what it looks like out there. You must be thinking... Now I hold the beliefs of an ignorant woman who has never left the safety of the Imperial City's walls. I can assure you, I have visited Albuquerque on many occasions. The curiosity simply got the best of me. That is how I know how dangerous even this area can be, not to mention the wastes. I can defend myself quite effectively, but combat simply is not where I feel most comfortable. I've tried to find support, someone who would accompany me. No one, even unofficially, wanted to set out of the city because of my brother. Everybody still considers him a traitor. Oh my god, I can recruit her! Yes, new recruit! Do you want to travel with me? I'm trying to find certain answers myself. We can help each other. You're trying to seek out your past despite the fact they are trying to kill you. No, she doesn't let you answer. Without regard to your dan uh, without regard to your danger during your search, it's undoubtedly the only means of stopping the attacks on your person once and for all. And you're clearly driven by an insistent curiosity. Am I right? In a way, you remind me of my brother. Does that mean you'll join me? I admit I haven't considered seeking help outside the city, even though it was clear to me I would not find any within the Empire. Help me find my brother, and I will do everything that is in my power to help you. I only ask one thing. Please, do not postpone the search for Sindian too much. It has been too long already since he has left Albuquerque. It will not be simple to locate him. Are you ready to depart? Yes, I've had my personal effects prepared for some time now. I will go get them and prepare myself. Can you wait for a moment, please? Of course. It took almost an hour for Lystra to return armed and dressed in Imperial armor. In the past few days, I've been trying to locate someone in the suburbs with any kind of knowledge regarding my brother. I've succeeded in finding out about a man who allowed him to join his caravan. The caravan is expected to arrive in Albuquerque today. We should go see him soon, before he departs again, and ask him about Sindian. Excellent. Alright. Got a party of four. Alright. Come on, Lystra. I think I need to set her combat distance to closer. Alright, so let's see, what is she good at? I'm really curious. What does she have on her, too? Oh, that's what I was hoping for. I think she's an energy weapon person. Plasma pistol, small energy cell. Couple health items. It's looking good. Let's see. Do you have anything to say about Woofer? He looks like he's been through a lot. I'll never understand the urge of some people to own animals. It is something you would hardly go looking for in the Empire. Don't tell me you keep him so you can cuddle with him. <laughs> no offense to Woofer, but a dog like him can transmit a lot of dangerous illnesses. I... There... Woofer is for cuddling, what do you mean? No, they would never give me a disease. Uh, I don't think there's any point in doing this, but just to see. You mentioned you had a contact on somebody who knows something about your brother. Can you give me more information? Caravan leader? Mm-hmm. His name is Falcon. 
Strange name, but I believe the information is reliable. Falcon's Caravan should be in the suburbs now. Okay. Talk about your equipment. Uh, what can you do? I have never been in a fight, if that's what you're asking. I've only taken elementary training with energy weapons. Mostly with pistols, to be more specific. Given how small and light they are, they're capable of causing quite ugly wounds. But I'm a doctor, first of all. I've spent most of my life studying medicine. In the Empire, we possess medical knowledge that has been long forgotten elsewhere, regrettably. Hmm. Can I use her abilities as a doctor, like, at all? I don't know if that helps me in any way. What kind of armor are you willing to wear? Hmm... Oh, so uh, I didn't realize that people are only willing to wear certain armor. I guess that's perhaps why I couldn't change carries. She doesn't want to change at all. But yeah, she says she's fine with changing into anything else if it's better than what she's wearing or if it's like a disguise. Pretty low on hit points, she doesn't have much more than me. Decent carrying capacity. Yep, good with energy weapons. Okay. Actually, I haven't finished talking to everybody, necessarily. <laughs> Should I try to talk to the head person here? I doubt I'm going to be able to. I don't think they would give me an audience. Emperor Misrael. Excuse me? Mm. Emperor has no desire to see you. Fair enough. We got a new friend, Carrie. Let's go. Now, can I discuss her? What kind of armor she wants to wear? Yes. Uh, I'm not keen on taking off my favorite leather jacket. There's no way I'll wear some shit that weighs on it. Uh, weighs as much as a pregnant Brahmin makes you sweat like one and doesn't offer much more in terms of protection. So, no metal or leather armors? Spot on. Okay. Right, well, we've already been in there. Talked to the supply person, traded with her. This place is huge. Keep that beast away from me. Who are you calling a beast? Woofer's not a beast. Are these children gonna run away screaming? No, they just don't like me. All these buildings look the same. That Carbone boy is very rude. Carbone? Who's Carbone? Woofer. Why are you just staring at the wall? Are you in timeout? Okay, I think that's it. 
aside from this, the heck is this huge building? Right, Carrie's still with me. Oh, just the other entrance to this place. Alright, we're good. We're done with this place. Let's go meet the caravan person, so we can find more information out about... I totally forgot his name. Started with an S. The brother. Does it say his name? Nope, just says her brother. I should probably equip my weapons, huh? And you probably should as well. Alright, Falcon was it? Probably just over by the entrance, I would imagine. Right? Or not? This is the suburbs, right? Let me just leave and come back just to be sure. Yeah, that's the suburbs. Hmm. Where would they be? Hello? Are they just not here yet? Oh, people react to Lystra. Welcome back. He pauses when he sees Lystra. I hope your friend doesn't think I'll feel honored or something, just because someone from the Empire paid me a visit. Anyone can see she's from there. It's painfully obvious that she doesn't belong here, but enough of that. Are you here to trade? Oh yeah, I've totally got room for whatever extras left around, right? Yeah. Buff out. Is that a knife? I forget, I can't click it. Grab these <laughs> shurikens. I'm sure they're not worth much. But I'm greedy. You can Oh, you cannot get there. What do you mean? It's right there. There you go. Yeah, like, am I missing something? Maybe it's just coming later? I do not see any sort of a caravan. Hmm. I guess maybe it's just coming later. I think I'm gonna head back to the Monster Hunters compound and start talking to them, but before that, I realized I should probably speak with Catherine. Since now we have an official invite to go into the Imperial City, I think we can actually help her. Perhaps I could help. Uh, I've been in the Imperial City already, and I can go back anytime. Nice place, really. Really? Did you see any children there? What were they like? I did see children. They were playing in the street, happy and cheerful. Children safely playing in the street. Such a thing is possible only in the Imperial City. You see a glimmer of hope in her crestfallen eyes. Do you really want to help? I have nothing to give you. Sure. What do you need? It's my daughter. 
Sophie is safe here, but I fear they'll find out one day and take her away. She must get into the Imperial City. I know it'd be impossible for both of us to get in, but if one of the dwellers takes her in, Sophie might have a chance. I don't want to lose her, but anything is better than being at the mercy of the mutant hunters. What's wrong with your daughter? She sighs. Sophie has six toes on her feet. There's nothing wrong with her otherwise, but even something like that is enough for the mutant hunters to kill her. As if my little girl could hurt anyone. But I've heard that they aren't that strict in the Empire, and most importantly, the hunters couldn't touch her there. Please, try to find someone who'd look after my Sophie. God, the mute hunters really are pieces of shit. They literally kill a little girl because she has six toes. Because she has a minor mutation, she's considered a mutant. I'll see what I can do. That's so sad. Alright, um... Actually, you know what? I don't think I am going to go to the Monster Hunters compound. That's going to be a whole big thing, probably. I think what I'm going to do first... Is let's do the other quest. The one to figure out what happened to the Imperial soldiers sent to Dead Quarter. Let's go do that. Okay, they were investigating a building near the edge somewhere, I think. So let's go check out. There might be some underground place or something. Oh, that must, that must be what all these locked doors were about, right? Is it relocked? It is. Yeah, so they are just quest places that are just mysteriously empty. If you go there before the quest. Holy shit. The unmistakable stench tells you what you see lying on the floor are torn bodies of the soldiers. Also, I think Carrie, or was it Leister? Leister probably said I have something to tell you. <laughs> this, this is like I'm talking to her about this like a week after it happened or something. Or at least after we've gone outside, but no, it's like, you know, I know you just saw these bodies two seconds ago, but it must have been difficult to see those dead soldiers in the dead quarter. It was awful, such a massacre. They didn't stand a chance. And the Nim has never gone this far before. Evidently, they will do anything to accomplish their goal. We have to stop them. We cannot let this be. Please, help me catch Ananim. Who is this Ananim person anyway? What's all that about? Everybody would like to know who the person is and where they're from. Believe it or not, the person really calls himself Ananim, and that's all we know about him or her. They're obviously trying to hide their true identity. And they're very good at it. Their aim is to overthrow the rule of Emperor Misrael and his advisors, to erase our government. It is difficult to say why and what they're after. However, they're not afraid to use violence in order to achieve it. Perhaps now you'll understand why they're such a serious threat, and why the Empire is willing to spend considerable expenses in order to apprehend them. Hold on, there was more there. Let's just do this again. Yeah, his name is Falcon. Should be in the suburbs. I said it should be in the suburbs now. Hmm. Oh, yeah, one more thing. What do you think of Carrie? She's got a rough hide and appears to be distanced, but I believe that is not who she is. Take what condition she lives in. It is most likely a defense mechanism. I'm positive she's not as bad as she seems at first glance. I cannot say we understand each other perfectly, but I would like to get to know more about her. If she would let me. I'm guessing they're not going to have any loot on them. 
Nah, that'd be too easy. Okay, let's go to the other place. Where was that other locked place? Is it here? Yeah. Oh. Wait, is that leftover dialogue or is there someone actually here? Ah, it's leftover dialogue. So do we just report on what we found, I guess? I guess. Alright, well in that case we can report back and see if we can find a home for Catherine's daughter. those away and you can stay here and you can stay here I found them in a cellar of one of the houses in the dead quarter. All of them dead. Someone must have massacred them. It wasn't a pretty sight. At least his size. I need to convene the council immediately. That is the greatest blow Ananim has ever dealt to the Empire. I need you to take part as well. You are the only one who has seen the dead soldiers with your own eyes. Alright, let's do it. Compromise reel is here. The council meeting may begin. Yeah, it's a cutscene, so I can't do anything. What's the matter? Do you have any information about Ananim? He looks at you disagreeably. I'm afraid that we have had bad news, Emperor. This, this foreigner has found our soldiers in the dead quarter. She gestures at you. Tell us what you saw. I found them in the remains of a sewer under one of the houses. All of them dead. What? How is that possible? They have must, must have fallen into a trap. Someone probably planted explosives there. If there are any wounded, Ananim's people must have finished them off. That's because we act on every sketchy piece of information, Elisa. We're playing right into Ananim's hands. What do you suggest we do? No more sending our soldiers out blind. I won't allow putting our people in danger any longer. We'll fortify our position and wait for Ananim to act. He will make a mistake sooner or later. I will personally see to it that we are prepared. Okay, bye! The death of our soldiers is unfortunate, but you must continue searching, Elisa. I'm, going to, I'm not going to sit here and wait until Ananim sends his assassins after me. Find him. No more mistakes. I conclude the meeting of the council. I must apologize to you. Council meetings aren't usually this explosive. The death of so many loyal men has hit us hard. As for your reward, you can collect it from Supply Officer... Margaret Danridge. She works at the street to the... Yep, I know where she is. I did not possess any of your money myself. She goes silent for a moment. There's also one other thing I need to talk to you about. Mm-hmm. The informant that was supposed to meet 
with the Imperial Squad contacted me again. In his message, he said that there wasn't anyone at the meeting spot. That's why he suggested another meeting in an abandoned house in the northeastern dead quarter. Oh, that's the other, yeah, the other place I just went to after the dead bodies, where there was nobody. Uh, where he's hiding now. I don't believe him a word. There's a real possibility that it's just another of Anonym's men. But we have no other lead, and as you've heard, I can no longer count on Iran's help. I want you to meet him alone. I hope you'll succeed where our soldiers have failed. Okay, I'll try. Hold on, can I talk to her about the person... No, I can't. So before I started the whole council meeting, there's an option to say, what have you found out about that person that uh, propositioned me to help Anonym in the uh, wilds, wild paradise or whatever? That seems to have disappeared, though, so I guess it's just irrelevant, maybe. Okay, let me see if I can find someone who'd be willing to take in Catherine's daughter. Uh, maybe one of these people? I assume they're the parents of these children or something? I don't really know who to talk to. Who would I talk to about this? I don't know. Like, the only person here who knows me, who lives here and knows me and is nice, aside from... Uh, Lystra, of course, is uh, a deer's daughter, whatever their name is. The Valeska's widow's son is missing, poor thing. Oh, shit, can I help? I just need to talk to everyone. Alright, let's go collect my reward. I'm supposed to collect the pay for some work I've done here. Yes, I've received the message. I almost didn't believe it. It's not usual to hire foreigners here, especially for someone so high up. Of course, it's none of my business. Nobody would tell me what it was about. I'm just supposed to give you your caps. Nobody has hired any foreigners except me lately? No one was here to collect caps? Only Leicester has collected a small sum recently, but I really shouldn't talk about it. It's her personal business. I didn't say anything, okay? Besides that, no one. Of course, advisors, for example, can take as many caps as they want without anything going into the records, but why would they do that? All well, the payments officially pass through my office. Hmm, that all sounds a bit suspicious. Alright, what do you got for me? 1,000 caps. Okay. Uh, yep, that's everything. The payments are recorded quite meticulously. Everyone's talking about that carbone boy. Hmm. I haven't gone to this courtyard yet. This little place in between the building. Also, let me see if maybe Lystra can say something about taking in the kid. Mm. Doesn't look like it. No. I mean, okay, I guess I can talk to this person about taking in the kid, but I really don't think... Yeah, they're not going to say anything. Also, pretty sure this person would not be interested. Oh, woofer. Guess not. Yeah, nothing. Okay, let's go back to the dead quarter and go meet the informant. I almost hope it's a trap, because I haven't had any combat in a while. I'm kind of itching for some combat, especially with his new armor.
Let's see how much damage I take. Uh, let's leave this way. I think this goes straight to the dead quarter. Oh, wait. Holy shit! This is... <laughs> this is an entirely new part! I thought this... I just assumed that it went to the other entrance to the Empire, but no, this is an entirely new section. Wow, I missed so much. Okay. Glad I found that. Holy crap. Alright, well, this episode's already getting a bit long, so I don't want to explain it just yet. I want to... Let's finish the episode on exploring the dead quarter. Isn't where I'm supposed to meet him? Meet the informer in dead quarter. North east. This is the northeast. Are they hiding? In the corners? No. Is there now something in the desk? No. What? I don't understand. Oh. Oh, this is the person. She sent you. He keeps looking around cautiously. If you mean advisor Elisa, then yes, she sent me. Yeah, the Imperial Big Shot. That's the one. Finally, someone showed up. I've been trying to give her information about Anonym for quite some time. But what about the soldiers she sent to meet you? What soldiers? What are you talking about? Nobody came to meet me. The Empire has sent a squad of soldiers to meet you so that you could send them after Anonym. They were all killed in the dead quarter. What? How could anyone kill an entire squad of the Imperial soldiers? They must have gotten to them before me. That's not good. They might be suspecting me. The Empire must get Anonym as soon as possible. What do you know, then? Wait, wait, not so fast. Not just anyone has this information. What do I get out of this? I'm risking my life here. That's worth a few caps, right? Would 400 caps be enough? Sure, I could do something with that. Didn't expect you to be this generous. Well, if you insist, I'll tell you what I know for 400. Fine. Thanks, don't worry. I'll keep my end of the bargain. Anonym and his people meet with the hired mercenaries right here, in the cellar below this house. Knowing that won't help you now because it's empty, but when the next meeting with Anonym takes place, I will know. Then I'll send a message to the Empire Bosswoman. She, she can take care of him then. I'll make sure it's not anywhere near that place. I'll make sure I'm not anywhere near that place. Alright, I can work with that. Maybe I could give you some advice. I think, was that... Lystra? Do you think we can trust the information we were given by the informant about Anonym's hideout? That is difficult to say. He didn't look very trustworthy. But what does it matter? As far as I know, this is the first proper lead after a very long time. We mustn't waste this opportunity, even if it was a trap. God, I hope it's not. Yeah, there's too much at play here to ignore it.
Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go tell Elisa, or Elisa, or however you pronounce her name, about the information I just learned, and probably, once and for all, the old anonym, most likely. And then after that, uh, I'm going to go to the entire second half of the Empire that I didn't even realize existed. <laughs>